Howdy everybody, we're moving on to 9-3, fractions and sets. So we've already developed the fraction concept of looking at the numerator and the denominator. We worked with some of that vocabulary, so we're going to be building on it today. What fraction of the marbles are black? So we can see that we have three black marbles, and that's going to be our numerator, the number of black marbles. And then it's going to ask you how many of the total marbles are black. So we need to figure out the total number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is our denominator because I have eight total for the marbles. So three out of eight of my marbles are black. So let's take a look at the questions. Number one says what fraction of the toys are balls? Now um, that's important so I'm going to focus on that. Now I need first need to see how many toys that I have. How many total toys do I have? I have one, two, three, four. So my bottom number, my denominator, I already know is going to be a four because that's my total number in my set. Now I need to decide how many of these toys are balls. So I'm looking, this is a basketball, that's one. Nope, nope, and then a volleyball. So two out of my four toys are balls. And I'm going to go ahead and put that answer over here. Two out of four, or two-fourths, the correct way to say it, are balls. Number two says, which fraction of the fruits are oranges? First thing I needed to decide, how many fruits do I have? One, two, three. I have three total number of fruits. And I need to decide how many are oranges. I have one that's an orange. So one out of my three fruits are oranges, or one-third of my fruits are oranges. Number three says, what fraction of the blocks have letters on them? So first of all, figure out how many total do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six blocks total. That's going to be my denominator. And then how many of them have letters on them? One, two, three, four out of six of my blocks have letters on them. So four sixths of my blocks have letters. Number four, what fraction of the letters in the word Monday RM, that's a little different. So let's figure out how many letters I have total to figure out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six is going to be my denominator. And only that one letter, the M, is an M. So I have one sixth of my letters in Monday are an M. For numbers five and six, draw a picture to show each fraction of a set. So thir three sixths of the squares are shaded. So I need to s draw my total number as six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So six, my total number is six. And only three out of those six are shaded. So one is shaded, two sixths is shaded, three sixths is shaded. Number six, two third of the balls are footballs. Okay, so if I have three, I need, as my denominator, I know I need three balls here. So I'm going to draw one, don't make fun of my artwork, one football, two football, and then I need one more ball that's not a football. I'll go ahead and draw a baseball, a couple stitches. Alrighty, so you can see that I have the total number is three balls, but only two out of those three balls are footballs. One, two out of the one, two, three balls. Out of six cats, two are tan. What fraction of cats are not tan? So if I have six cats, and I'm going to go ahead and just draw so I can visualize that a little bit. One, two, three, four, five. Six, just going to keep those in the circles. Out of the six, two are tan. So I'm just going to shade in two for tan. So what fraction of the cats aren't tan? So I need to focus on these four. Well, I already know that I have six, so that has to be my total number. But how many, one, two, three, four are left that aren't tan? So four out of the six are not tan, or the correct way to say it is four sixths are not tan.